Z is our special guest on Groove with Swedish Eagle. Welcome to the program. Hey there. Thanks how are you me. doing? I'm great. How are you? Very good, thank you. So I've heard you speak a little bit as I uh, we're, we're in the studio. You're in the studio with Porter Robinson. I heard you speak a little bit, and you speak fluent English. But you are from Germany, aren't thank you? Thank you. I am. Yeah, actually, my uh, I improved my English by being in the studio a lot because. Uh, when I have a question, I hear the answer, and then I soak everything up and try to lose my accent. So, yeah. Flawless. How long Thank have you. you been here in America? Uh, I came to America the first time in March uh, 2011, which was, yeah. About a year ago. Yeah, pretty much. Wow. And, uh, you yeah, spoke English before you came. I did. I mean, I learned English in uh, school, and I paid attention because I kind of knew it would be probably ex- important uh. in my career. Um but besides that, I really started learning English and like just speaking English uh, when I got here a year ago. So you moved to America now? Not really. I mean, I, I don't know where I live. I technically still live in Germany, but uh, I've not been home this year and uh, I'm not coming back home till like June or July. So you know, I more live on the road than I live anywhere else. Oh, okay. How do you like it here in Santa Monica, California? I, I love Santa Monica. I love LA and uh, I eventually will probably get a place here at some point because I spend a lot of time here and um, yeah, I really love it. The weather is amazing. Uh, you know, you wake up and the sun is shining, you just feel better. Yeah, <laughs> or I at I least feel better. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So what city are you from in Germany? It's Kaiserslautern. It's a small city and uh, yeah, I, I live literally in the forest. <laughs> okay. It's the opposite of here. Is there an EDM scene there? Um, <clears throat> it's a good question. There, I mean, there's obviously electronic music everywhere, but uh, the um, the EDM scene is a little different in Germany than it is here. And uh, the songs that get big in the States, they get big here first. It takes a little while for them to get to Germany. So after I was playing a tour with uh, Skrillex and then Dead Mouse, and I came back to Germany and played a show and I played all those songs that I, you know, was playing in the States and I just was so used to everyone knowing the songs, like even my own remixes, I was just used like turn on the fader, wanted to have everyone sing and <laughs> like, oh shit. <laughs> like maybe they do not know all this whole stuff. <laughs> I learned a little bit from that. <laughs> Takes a while. <laughs> and they would pro- probably prefer to sing them in 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 uh, German too, I would assume. Yeah, you know. I don't play any German songs unfortunately, but <laughs> <laughs> you have to make one. Anyway, I should, yeah. So, um I don't play very much dubstep, but I wanted to thank you for helping me get into Skrillex because I, you know I like his music very much and I play some of his remixes and some of his original songs but like Scary Monster and Breaking a Sweat you did remixes of them that made it easy for me to play those songs and they oh, wow. still thank you very much very very good so uh, how did you first start out working with Skrillex um, how it all started um, it was actually a really random day where uh, I saw Dead Mouse posting something about this guy named Skrillex and uh, I was working on a song and um, I checked this link out that Dead Mouse posted and it was a remix it for Lady Gaga and I listened to it and I was like wow that's actually pretty similar to the song I'm working right now and I was like I was so happy about the song so I just sent him a MySpace message saying and I'm really critical to music some people say I'm a hater Mm -hmm. but I'm really not I would consider myself a lover because whatever I love I truly love and respect but I'm really critical and um, I thought he was really really good and ahead of a lot of the whole scene so I sent him a link saying hey like just what I told you and uh, you should check out my music you might like it and just send him one song and he replied like five minutes later because just by accident he was just checking his MySpace messages after months and mine popped up first because I wrote last so uh, he checked that song and wrote back that he had a show that evening and he wanted to have that song right now and yeah I sent it to him and And what song was that? that was my remix of this year a song that never got never really got attention because when I released that I was really unknown and I barely had followers and fans and he like labels did not really believe in me and he was like the first one was like you have to do a remix for me we have to work together and then I made weekends then I made scary monsters for him and um, the last one was breaking a sweat and so he was a, a really early supporter of my music So you must have been very progressive sitting in this little town in Germany where there was a very small EDM scene and you're making 
music that's way ahead of its time, especially for where you were. So where did your inspiration come from? Um, you know, for the most part, I would say if, if we want to stay in electronic music, it was Justice and Daft Punk. Okay. And I, I just got into electronic dance music. So when I started producing electronic dance music, all my inspiration was besides Justice and Daft Punk was everything besides EDM which was rock, which was classical music, jazz. Like, that's what I grew up with. And um, so I took all of those elements that I knew from those. Like, I knew how to write rock songs because I did that for years. You know, mm -hmm. it's not just about having a beat. It's about having a song, a structure, and right. a melody, and a chord progression. So that kind of became my game. You know, like, today, I just, I still, I'm addicted to interesting chord progressions, like melodies that others probably would not do. Uh, and I still love drops, like they call them, you know, right. art, art electronic music. But yeah, my inspiration was a lot of shave different it, kinds. Shave it, shave it, shave it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> love that. Uh, and uh, and, and uh, put the other one, don't slam that fucking door. <laughs> That's right, right yeah. <laughs> don't slam it, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, so um, are you? But now you're also a DJ, right? Uh, an ultimate DJ? <laughs> no, uh, you're also a DJ. Yeah, I'm, I'm also a DJ. <laughs> I thought I was a DJ. I was, wanted to say thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm a DJ now, yeah. But I had a similar story like Porter. When I uh, was asked to do the first show, I had no idea what that meant to play a show because I used to play drums. That was the type of show, but I could not play all the instruments I was doing in my songs at the same time. So kind of looked it up and it was a DJ. <laughs> right, okay. So I uh, got Tractor and performed my first show with my laptop, with a mouse. Oh, okay. It worked out. Right, okay, yeah. good. And how long ago was that? That was, that's a good question. That's like maybe three years ago, Okay. I would say. And um, yeah, I was just doing that for fun. I was DJing at like friends' parties and, you know, nothing really serious. And about two years ago when I met Skrillex, that is when I actually did nothing else but music the whole day you look very young may i ask how old are you i'm 22 22 okay yeah. man you're just getting started sam yeah i hope so i mean how did you come up with that name um how did i come up well the reason was uh i, I was always i'm really bad with names first of all so and i'm not creative with names so uh, my first name is Anton and my last name starts with a Z and one of my best friends is called Anton and he lives right next to me. And we're like best friends and whenever someone says Anton, we both look at the person and be like... Oh, okay. <laughs> so we just decided that we take the first letters of our last names as our nicknames. That was way before I started oh, I that. It was just like what friends called me for a long wow. time. And then when I had my first song, I had to have a name so I was like... well. Then it's probably Z, and I saw there was a Z with one D, so I just took a second one, okay. <laughs> and there we go. All right, and want to say congratulations to you on your latest record, Shotgun. So yeah. Big hit right now on Beatport, Thank and so why Shotgun? The name or the song? Uh, the, the name. The name. Um, uh, that's a good question. I guess it sounds like a shotgun, and the song was meant to be a club weapon. So there's okay. some some like a battle weapon for the clubs. Yeah, I mean it's uh, you know I I've been working at the time when I made Shotgun. I was working on my album for a few months, and my album was not just about being a club record. It's far like it's just supposed to be great music, you know, not only club friendly. It's it is EDM and it's 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 electronic music, but it's in the first place it should should just be good music. And I just wanted to make a song for the club. Like I, I, I was so like I need to make something for clubs. So Shotgun was definitely in the first place, a song that I meant like I made it for clubs, for, for DJs. Okay. So pardon my ignorance. Where are you at with this artist album? Is it finished? It's not finished. Um, I'm trying to finish it as, as fast as I can. Um, I'm. I would say I don't know. Maybe I'm 70% there. I have um, about nine songs done. And I have a lot of ideas flying around that I will most likely turn into songs. I've started a song with Porter, which may land on the album, may not. Um, I um, I have a lot of collaborations that I started. It's just really hard to get together and find a day or two to work on something. Right. And most of the times, a day or two or three or four will not be enough for a song. So everything is like stretching out. And I have a lot of vocalists on my album, so. Um, it's always, you know, you write a vocal, you get a, you get a singer, and you record that. There's one day, and then 
you probably want to change lyrics, there's the second day and the third day, and you know, it's just taking forever, but that's how it is. Are there any of those uh, collaborations or people that you've collaborated with or singers that we may know who they are? Uh, maybe. I, I don't really want to um, spoil too much. There's a song that kind of, I've, I've been playing it out and um, it, it did not get leaked, but um, people know about it. It's a song I did with Lucky Date and Ellie Golding. Um, she's one of the vocalists and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great song. It's a great mix of a club record and a good song. Now, and I heard that you're working with Infected Mushroom, is that right? That's right, yeah. We did a song together and uh, it's not 100% finished yet and um, yeah, I don't want to lose too much detail on what it's going to be, how it's going to be. Going is to it going to be on their forthcoming album? Uh, we'll see. I actually don't know about that. Okay. Um, but uh, I know that the song is... Uh, it's one of my favorite songs I've ever done. Okay. Or we've done in this case. Okay. You've remixed one of my favorite songs, Witch Doctor I, from Arm oh, and wow. Helden. How did that come about? That was the first remix I've actually ever done in my life. Uh, it came up... Um, it was a Beatport remix contest. And I've been following those remix contests for a while. And I decided I have to participate in one. And I did like two or three in a row, and then I just promised the next one is it, no matter what the song is. And I'll be honest, I didn't know which doctor, I did not know the song. Oh, okay. And I just took the stamps and made my own song out of that. Yeah, you yeah. did a great job, man. I've been Thank playing you so that much. I like that very much. Thank you a lot. That's been a big, that's like a, a club anthem. Especially it was the here first, Los the Angeles first thing I've ever like really? that that opened a lot of doors for me. Oh, okay. I've I'm posted happy. this remix, and then my first remix requests came in like after I posted that oh, one. Okay. Um, I like another song of yours, "Stars Come Out." Thank you very much. Who sings on that song? It is Heather Bright. Okay. Um, she. I did another song with her, which will be on my album as well. Okay. And, uh, yeah, she's she's amazing. She's yeah, great. Very good job. So there is a U.S. Army installation in your hometown. You're well informed. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it's actually literally right like 20 minutes away from my home, and it's I think the biggest U military U.S. base in Germany, in Europe. Oh, okay. I believe. And so, did that have any impact on you growing up? Do you ever see the not. Americans? Uh, I've been there. I've been sneaking in there. A few times. <laughs> what do you do in there? I buy peanut butter. <laughs> I buy all those American goodies, and yeah, I loved it there. Like just the food was a paradise. <laughs> root beer. We don't have root beer, oh, okay. so that was a big thing I was looking forward to. Every time I sneaked in there, I was like, more root it's beer. Some American snacks from the army oh, base. It's beautiful. Thank God for America. Which I was there earlier. So I went to your uh, Twitter page and you have these beer mugs decorating your <laughs> Twitter page. That's right. That actually was a complete joke because I don't even drink beer. Oh, but, oh really? Okay. Yeah, it was um, Nicky Romero who um, I really liked his background, Twitter background. It was uh -huh. completely randomly. I asked him who did that and he linked to his designer and his designer just for fun. Uh, made this funny background and I thought it's, it's genius. So I Germanized yours my mine yes uh, i am baffled that you don't like beer you're from germany you're supposed it's to weird. like beer yeah i don't like beer and uh oktoberfest for crime i've never been really it's a crime probably but i've literally never been there i have to go i definitely have to go okay all right well thank you very much zed it's been great to have you on the show thank you so much for having me. and uh, you're talking about uh, going on a massive tour so if people wanted to read up on where you're going to be heading next where is that place well, the next tour I'm playing, I'm supporting uh, Lady Gaga on her uh, Asian tour. So the next seven weeks I'll be on tour in Asia. And after that, I have a couple of shows in Europe. Um, I'm actually about to announce five more shows tonight. Okay. And I'm playing a lot of shows in the States as well. A couple of festivals here and there. So I'll be everywhere. <laughs> okay. And if people wanted to read where you're going to be next, what is that website? Uh, it's just facebook.com slash zed. Okay. Or twitter.com slash that. Or if they want to hear my music, it's soundcloud.com slash that. If they want to see videos, it's youtube.com slash that. Okay. It's, I try to keep it simple. Yeah, that, that is simple enough. <laughs> Good luck with the song with Porter Robinson. Thank you so much. You know, why don't we have Porter step out here for a minute here, so Porter. we can see that you're actually in the studio at the same time.
You know, we've been talking tell, about tell, Porter like he's a stranger. Yeah, no, I'm right here. I've been listening the to the Porter whole thing. Robinson right there in red. Zed right there. Hello. Right, right here. All right. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> thank you very you. much, Zed. Awesome. Thank you very much.